Good evening, everybody. Um, I hope you've all had a very nice Christmas and a happy new year. And I uh, wish to say a big thank you to all of you who have stuck with me while I was in hospital. Um, I'm still not 100%. Uh, I was at the hospital yesterday and they have taken the frame off my leg, but it's now in plaster and will be for another six weeks. But the good news is that the bones are beginning to heal. So that's very positive and encouraging. So um, I won't be able to wait there for at least another two weeks because when we put the plaster on, I couldn't bend my foot into the position that it needed to be in so that it can go flat on the ground. So at the moment, I can only put my toes on the ground and uh, a couple of them are a bit sensitive. So yeah. I still can't wait there. But anyway, hopefully in two weeks' time when they change the plaster, I'll be able to put a bit of weight and I'll be able to walk with crutches and be a bit more um, independent. Anyway, I'm coming on because I won something from Styx 2 in a competition which was in a magazine. I think it was called Papercraft Inspirations. And they wrote to me saying that I'd won... Um, foil iron I don't even um but that it was no longer available the product had been discontinued and would I like to pick anything from their website to the value of 30 pounds so I'm just coming on to share with you what I got so um so the first thing I picked was this low stent low tax stencil tape so I just thought that that would be useful because I'm I'm planning to try and do some mixed media and things like that or be even useful for for attaching dyes to paper when I'm die cutting. So, so I got some of that. And then I got some magnetic tape, which I um, thought would be useful because I'm thinking, you know, maybe I can make some fridge magnets or something like that. So it would be useful to have that in stock. I then got some craft foam tape. This is just ordinary you know, tape that I can cut up. Um, it's two millimetres thick and there's two metres of it there. So um, it would be useful for cards and things. Then I picked up this um, bag of um, ATC size um, clear bags, self-seal, because I haven't tried it, but I'm hoping it's the right size um, for pocket letters. And I thought that could be they could be useful for putting the gifts in at the back of the pocket letter. So that's what I'm hoping to use with those with. I picked up um, a little packet of already uh, die cut bells. There are 15 in here. I was given this uh, opportunity just before Christmas. And I thought, well, you know, they could be useful for next year. But then I also thought they could be useful for wedding cards or, or anything really. So... I thought they might be useful as so I don't have any, anything in that line and I'm not going to need a huge amount of them so I didn't think it was worth getting a die just for that. Then I picked up this double-sided punch adhesive sheets um, which it says it's useful to use for small punches. It's ideal for use on accent beads, glitter, foils, beads and embellishments can be cut to the size required can be used with punch for a specific shape or size. Instant permanent bond with joining paper, board, plastic, fabric, leather, wood, metal or glass in all types of hobby and craft applications. So um, anyway, I thought I'd give that a try. Um, and then I picked up a couple of their double-sided foam sheets. There's, there's two in this packet. One is two millimetres thick and the other is one millimetre thick and um, that you can use this to to um, raise your projects but you can also use it um, to make glittered objects by, by um, covering the one side of the stickiness with with glitter so anyway I thought I'd have a bit of fun with this so um, so I got those I also picked up some double-sided adhesive tape sheets, which um, 
again you can add glitter to um, and um, it can be used to make punches trim and um, create borders or cut out shapes or whatever so I thought that could be quite useful and finally I picked up this packet of die cut release sheets and it seems to me that that you you can use this to make the um what's the word when you cut something out and you've got the little bits left over um the can't think of the word anyway like the, the mirror image of it so you put this between your die and your card and um and it picks up the all the little bits that are die cut from 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 um from your die and so as well as cutting the card it also cuts onto this sheet of paper sticky paper and you can peel the sticky paper off and then you can stick that onto an, onto a project so you get two two cuts for the price of one anyway i'm going to try that as well i thought that looked quite interesting so that's what i won and um I'd like to thank Sticks too for the opportunity for winning some of their project products and I'll be using them in some of my projects throughout the year. So I'd just like to say uh, bye for now and um, I'll see you all again soon once I get crafting. I've managed to clear a space in, in, my, in the area where I craft and get rid of all the Christmas paper and things like that which were sort of uh, mounting up on the desk and I'll be hopefully into making cards and things again very soon. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.